This old guy DIY video has to do with attempting to repair a leak in a water tank on a friend's RV. So he has this travel trailer and uh, you can see that it's leaking right here. The guy he bought it from had mentioned that it leaked down here somewhere and he had put JB Weld on it. And as I look at it right now, it looks like the leak might actually be between the plug and the threads. So I'm going to just use a knife and cut that JB Weld, remove the plug first. I might be able to just buy a new plug and put that in there and have everything fine. If not, I'm going to put the plug back in. And since in my experience, JB Weld doesn't work very well on things that expand and contract and flex because it's rigid once it sets up, it'll crack. I'm going to redo that fitting with shoe goo and I'm confident that will stop the leak and then he'll have all the water he wants. So as I took this thing apart, what I found is the plug did come out. I just cut the JB Weld a little bit and it's actually cracked right where this bung goes to the body of it. And now as I'm using a wire brush and my knife to get the JB Weld off of there, it's just kind of flaking off, which tells me it didn't have a very good bond to that particular type of plastic anyway. So I'm going to keep scraping with the knife and the wire brush, get this down to just the plastic. I'll rough it up some more with that wire brush. And then I'm gonna break out my buddy, shoe goo. And I'm confident this thing will do the job. I got most of the JB Weld removed. You can see the bung is cracked right off the tank here. So the decision I'm making now is if I'll cut this whole bung assembly off and just run a, a half inch threaded plug like you normally use for plumbing in there, I can just tap that hole and put a plug in it. Or if I should try it with the shoe goo first. The thing is pretty rigid, so I think I'm gonna try the shoe goo first. So as I'm putting this thing back together in preparation for gluing, I pulled the plug out and he had a whole bunch of Teflon tape on there. So I took the tape off so the threads will just go in. And I think the way he broke it is the plug that he has on here is actually so long that it bottoms out against the tank body. So if a guy put a wrench on here and cranked it, you'd actually pull this bung right away from the body of the tank. So I think I understand how it was broken. I put the plug in just hand tight so I have a stopper on the inside when I put the shoe goo here. At least it'll keep it from running to the inside and buggering up the threads. So I'll glue it up now, leave it sit for about 24 hours, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well, I brushed it with the wire brush and then I liberally shoe gooed it. And as I understand it, this is not a pressurized tank. It has a little pump that draws the water out of there. So I think all we're trying to do here is contain our friend gravity. So the shoe goo is in place. It's about noon. We'll give this stuff 24 hours. See if it wants to hold water. Well, it's been a day and a half since I hit this thing with shoe goo. It looks pretty good. So I'm here today to put the plug back in. And I brought this piece of heavy rubber. I'm going to cut this thing in a circle. And since this is no longer perfect, the, the orientation of the bung to the water tank itself, I'm going to put this little circle of rubber down on the bottom when I put the plug in. So this is a little rubber plug that I made. I'm going to stick this in the hole first and then put this plastic plug over it and I'm only going to tighten this thing hand tight. It felt like the last guy cranked it on there with a crescent wrench or a channel locks but with my little sandwich like that I think the thing will hold water and my buddy will be happy. And this is what it looks like finger tight. It looks to me like there's a bigger gap here than there is on the other side just because this isn't perfectly perpendicular but I believe that little rubber piece will make up that difference and it all should be good.